Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a new amazing chatbot, which is called Perplexity AI. In many cases, it's actually better than ChatGPT, and this is something that I'm going to be showcasing in today's video. Now, Perplexity AI is a chatbot that shares many similarities with ChatGPT, but offers distinct features and capabilities that puts it ahead of ChatGPT. Now, it provides users with an enhanced user interface and a chat experience, which prioritizes users user friendliness, a visual appeal, as well as an intuitive interaction. Now, one notable feature is its citation of sources. This ensures transparency by referring and attributing information to its original source. This empowers users with the source as well as the ability to verify and delve deeper into providing information. Now, another advantage is that Perplexity AI is completely free to access, which eliminates financial barriers and makes it more available for a broader audience. Now, one thing that I'm going to be showing is some of the case use cases as well as going through some of the features of this actual chatbot. Now, one thing that I wanted to focus on is that you can actually access GPT-4 with uh, Perplexity AI, and this is something that we'll be going more deeper into in today's video. Before we actually get into the gist of the whole video, guys, if you guys haven't followed my Twitter page, please do so because I'm going to be posting a lot of content as well as a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from. So definitely give this a follow. And if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, definitely do so as there's a lot of content in the AI world that I cover and you'll definitely get some sort of idea as well as some sort of value that will definitely benefit your journey in the AI world. So definitely give myself or my channel a follow, guys. Like this video subscribe and turn on notification bell and with that thought let's get right into the video before we actually get into the actual perplexity ui and as to the actual chatbot i want to emphasize a little bit more and mention the copilot feature as well as some of the things as to how you can actually use chat gpt4 on perplexity ai so there's actually a caveat guys you can only use or get five searches every four hours so this is something that you can actually do on their actual application you can only use it five times in four hours so that's only the only problem with perplexity ai in terms of using chat gpt4 but with chat gpt4 you don't even need that many searches as it's only used for enhanced curing capabilities so in that case you won't be using it as well as utilizing a lot in other cases you're going to be actually able to use 3.5 which is also very amazing so that doesn't actually hinder the success of using perplexity ai perplexity copilot is actually another feature that the chatbot incorporates as an intelligent search processing application and what this basically does is that you're able to understand the initial query which basically allows perplexity ai as well as its copilot to be designed to comprehend your initial question or prompt and what it does is that it aims to grasp the content as well as the meaning behind your query to provide a more precise and tailored answer a second thing that it does is that it re-clarifies the question that you gave it and what it does is that it ensures a thorough understanding of your query now with perplexity copilot you may ask re-clarifying questions and through these questions you're able to get a more refined output now these questions aim to gather specific details or additional information necessary to generate more accurate responses uh, number three is it's real-time web searches now what it actually does is that it allows for a clear understanding of your query by searching the web to give you the best output and lastly it focuses on richer answers with citations and this is something that we emphasize before as it provides sources as to where you got the actual output or where it's able to generate its ai content and this is something that you can see with their video as well as their demo on perplexity ai's twitter so i'll leave this link in the description below so you can get a better idea as to some of the updates that they'll be providing in the future now let's actually play around with their uh, actual chatbot and first things first i actually created an account this is how you can actually utilize their copilot feature which utilizes gpt4 now you can also search as well as focus on different aspects in the AI world by focusing on different like areas as well as different industries that will get you better answers. If you want a more catered answer that requires more of an academic approach to getting your output, then you can click on the academic uh, factor that will help you get the best output that relates to this 
actual category. You can do certain things like Wolf Wolfogram, which is more of a mathematical or computational type of engine. Uh, you can even use Reddit, the news, Wikipedia, as well as YouTube. In this case, I'm just going to use the internet. You can try asking certain things that it gives you, just like how ChatGPT gives you certain examples. You're gonna, you, there's like a tab that provides you the updates. In this case, it's Copilot GPT-4, which is a more powerful and interactive way to search. And you can just click this dismiss button and it will get rid of it. And this is some of the most popular prompts as to what you can play around with, as well as some of the most trending news. Like in this case, there's the Heat or beating the Celtics in game two. And one amazing feature is that you're able to download Perplexity AI on your iPhone as well as your Android. So you can actually use this on a mobile device, which is quite convenient. One thing that you can also do is download it, which is the download feature over here. Another thing is you can go over to your threads and play around with whatever uh, actual conversations that you had in with the chat bot. So we can actually ask it and create a new thread over here. But in this case, I'm just going to go on with something that's over here. Check out time with Hotel, Hotel CDMX. And what it does, you can ask a follow up question as to what you did over here. So in this case, I can just do something like this what is the cost of a late checkout at w Met, uh, mexico city and there's no information available in the search at this time uh, obviously you can click on certain things that it provides you you can edit the query you can also delete it as well as view the sources which we saw at the earlier features that we talked about you can even add more sources to it to get better responses and this is one of the great things about this actual chatbot one thing that I actually didn't like about ChatGPT is that you weren't actually able to get some sort of reference as to what it's able to generate the content from. And this is one of the things that I wanted to actually see. Now, you can also have this not discoverable feature, which only people can link or with the link can see this and share this link around. You also have the delete function, which deletes the whole thread. And there's also a settings tab, which you can see at the top right. So I'm actually just playing around with the chatbot and I asked it a simple prompt, create a guide for me to become a successful investor. And I basically used the Copilot feature as well as utilizing the one of the actual five uh, generative uses for GPT-4. Now it's able to actually give me this detailed response very quickly and it gives me the sources which you can see over here. And if you don't find an answer quite accurate, you can actually just click this flag and say it wasn't actually accurate. Another feature I wanted to highlight is some of its related tasks. You can actually add on with some related tasks that will actually correlate to your initial objective or your initial prompt. So in this case, how to diversify an investment portfolio, you can add this queue into the previous queue that you provided and it's going to actually build on top of what you provided over here now you can even do things like write in paragraph form please write the above in paragraph form now it will actually take whatever we talked about and put it into an actual paragraph form which is exactly what chat gpt can do and this is one of the main things that i actually why uh, this is actually why i prefer perplexity ai over chat gpt now that was a tongue twister so sorry about that but you can also see the references which i talked about and you can even delete certain things that you don't like like say if we added this related prompt you can actually just delete it and just build off of what we talked about over here and another great thing is you can save this into the actual threads uh, in this case, you can share it also on different things. You can copy a link, paste it, paste it onto your actual Twitter page. Maybe, for example, if you found something cool, you can paste it on your Twitter and you're going to have people go through what you found was actually quite cool. And that way they can build on top of what you actually gave the perplexity AI to talk about. And this is one of the cool features about this amazing chatbot. So I hope you found this video quite helpful, guys. In summary, this is actually a very amazing chatbot that offers a lot of different types of features. And like these things actually put like ChatGPT to dust as you don't have these types of features with ChatGPT. And this is one of the amazing things about Perplexity AI. And obviously there's something that they're going to be continuously working on as continuously dropping updates very frequently as you can see may 18 they added another feature and may 18 they also added their copilot feature 
So you can see that they're continuously working towards giving you the best value. So I highly recommend that you check this out as it's a new free chatbot that is basically on par with ChatGPT. So I highly recommend that you check this out and I'll leave all the links in the description below. I hope you found this video quite helpful. Make sure you give my Twitter account a follow. Make sure you subscribe, check out my previous videos, turn on the notification bell, like this video. And with that thought guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out fellas.